Go ahead. Go I ahead. Ask issue with Secretary Cardona yesterday. He mentioned sure. that with Governor DeSantis, they were, he was concerned about the EO he did regarding public schools on mass. And he said, we know what works. But the pre one of the president's top COVID advisors, Michael Osterholm, just this recently. Who's not a current advisor to the president. Current, but, but was. So notable, right? Okay. He Go said uh, in a television interview this week regarding mask wearing, specifically the cloth mask like so many of us are wearing here and what the kids are wearing in school, right, largely. He said um, it's a just that the scientific community has been doing a disservice to the public on face coverings. He said that cloth masks like these have very limited impact on the amount of virus that you inhale or you exhale out. And he also said that he's really disappointed in his colleagues for not making that more clear to the public. And that's sort of in line with the study that Governor DeSantis is citing as the basis for his ex executive order. So I how think you you're confusing a few things there, but let me first say that Osterholm is not an advisor to the president, to the administration, to the White House. He doesn't work here. He's a private citizen and a medical, ex a public health expert, but a, a lot of public health experts are out there speaking and good for them. I will say that we are going to continue to uh, rely on the advice of medical experts in the federal government on what kind of masks we all should wear, what kind of masks kids should wear, and if they change that advice, then the Department of Education will be working with schools to make sure that's implemented as a mitigation measure. The uh, issue we have taken with the guidance of uh, Governor DeSantis, which he of course is fundraising off of, I think we should note, is that he is preventing schools and teachers and others from protecting themselves and the students in their classroom. And as a mother myself, that's concerning, and I'm sure it's concerning to mothers in Florida. I think we're going to have to continue. Go ahead. I think we've got to continue. Go ahead. You had a very long question. We've got to continue. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emerald. We're going to continue. Uh, go ahead, Shelby. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, I wanted to ask a little bit ago, it was reported that the emergency compound set up for COVID positive migrants in McAllen expanded overnight, and there's only the city of McAllen resources and manpower being used. So. Has the administration been in contact with officials in McAllen, Texas on this, regarding the situation? And is the administration going to be helping provide relief? Uh, well, I think part of uh, one, certainly I believe we have been in touch through the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, and the setup of this uh, facility is meant to um, ensure we are taking steps to isolate and mitigate uh, any spread of COVID. Uh, and we have measures in place that we maintain any migrant who is picked up by the Border Patrol is given PPE. They're required to wear a mask. If they show any signs of illness, uh, they are referred to local health systems for proper, appropriate testing. So that is part of what our, as a government, steps we are certainly taking. I can check and see, or I would point you to the Department of Homeland Security on any I, the Department of Homeland Security would be the best entity to talk to about any additional assistance or any new assistance that we're providing. Go ahead.